Let's explore the world of waiting and preparing. This coming Sunday, Sunday, November 29th, is going to be the very first Sunday of Advent. What does Advent mean? Anybody know what Advent means? There's an advent calendar, and what do you do with your advent calendar? Some of you get to poke and get some chocolates or some treats, right? And it leads to what day? Christmas. That's right. And New Year's. Some of yours lead to New Year's? Wow. Some of them have Christmas and New Year's. Okay, well, the idea is that we wait for it for Christmas. Advent means the hopeful, show me hopeful, hope. The hopeful anticipation. <gasps> of Jesus coming to earth. What a wonderful time of the year. Okay, so what does that have to do with Mark or John the Baptist? In the book of the Bible, no, uh, in Mark, it's the New Testament, chapter 1, verses 1 to 8. Isaiah the prophet, we have talked about him. What does prophet mean again? Do you remember? Somebody that tells you about confidence and faith. No, it's somebody that tells you about what is to come. What's going to happen. Isaiah the prophet prophesies, he told, about the coming of Messiah, Jesus, the Son of God. Isaiah said this about Jesus. A messenger will be sent ahead of you to prepare your way. He will be a voice in the wilderness saying, prepare the way for him. Make a straight path for the Lord. Much later, so Isaiah said that at some point, and then much later, John the Baptist preached in the wilderness, just as the prophet had said. His message was for everyone to repent. What does repent mean? Any ideas? Not quite. It means that you know you've done something wrong and then you say, sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's what we get when you know and you ask for forgiveness. His message was for everybody to repent, to be baptized. Does anybody know what baptized means? What happens? Yes, you kind of go, if this is the water and this is you, you kind of go, you go all the way in there and then back up. To be baptized and to be forgiven of their sins. Everyone who lived in the countryside around Judea went to see and hear, what was his name again? John. The people in the city, the people in the city of Jerusalem also went to hear him preach. They confessed their sins and John baptized them in the Jordan River. John wore clothes made of camel's hair with a leather bell, that's right, around his waist. What did he eat? Anybody have an idea? One thing. Um, One thing. What are those called? Okay, so what else did he eat? He ate these bugs, and you know what they were called? Tonight's locusts. And they're kind of like little worms. He ate locusts and wild honey. If you look very closely in that picture, and it's also on the website, you can see the pictures of that. He also preached. This is what he would say. Ready? Have a seat. That's okay. It'll come. It'll come. Someone. Someone is coming. Are you listening? This is the important message that John the Baptist would preach. Someone is coming who is more powerful than I. I am unworthy to even untie the sandals on his feet. I baptize with water. He was at the Jordan River and he would baptize them. 
but he will baptize with the Holy Spirit. Do you remember when we talked about the Holy Spirit? And how it just sort of came and it sat on people's heads when, when the Holy Spirit descended on people and it was sort of like flame that wasn't really burning, but it was just sort of resting on the heads. Yeah. And it and, and wonderful, great things happened. Oh, Everybody oh. understood the message that was being spoken that day. Even though we might not have spoken in that same language. The Holy Spirit is able to reach everyone. And that Holy Spirit can come and abide in us and give us that boldness that we need. And even sometimes that little whisper that says, Hey, there might be someone that needs a hug. Go hug them. That's okay. Right? John the Baptist came before Jesus and was preparing a way. Because who was coming? He came as a baby. And what was his name? Jesus. Everybody go like this with their hands. This is sign language for Jesus. There you go. Okay? So there's a couple of words to think about that we're going to get into. Are you really good at sign language? I know some words. Yeah. I like to say some of the words. Here's the words that we're going to talk about and, and write about. Wilderness, spiritual gift, and spirits. You know what, sweetheart, actually? completely opposite from that stuff. When, when that stuff sort of can, can be talking about evil things, We're talking God about says, depart from evil. Go away from evil and do good. 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 And the goodness comes from Him. Spiritual gifts is an ability or a talent that God has given to you to help others. And the third word is baptize. So we're going to talk about those words. Okay? Uh, thank you for listening. And we're going to get to putting you guys up.